Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing with two fabulous, amazing Hoi4 YouTubers named Doon Hammer Gaming and Taki Senpai. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Cool, so <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> so I'm playing as Mojave Chapter. Doon is playing as the good old guys in North called the Washington Brotherhood. And then Taki is playing the Western Brotherhood of Steel. And I believe he has it paused. Nor do or do I have it? I huh. no, it's it's gone. It's gone. I it's just slow. Cool. It's a little slow. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a little difficult. Seeing as I, I'm, I'm sure we'll manage. What, what could possibly go wrong? Well, well I, that I die once, within so. the first episode. Yeah, Dune's already at war. Um, <laughs> that, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> So, to, for everyone who's watching, right now, let's go over the mods. We're only using two mods right now. We're using player led Peace Conferences, as well as, of course, Old World Blues. That's all the mods that we're using. No mod comp, no Sweet Home California. Uh, just base game, Old World Blues. And can I send volunteers? Uh, Taki, can you... Is it possible for you to send volunteers to I've, Dune? I've looked it up and it didn't seem to work, but oh. maybe now that it's unpaused, I'll have a look again. Because I can't, because I need uh, eight no. divisions in total. My country isn't allowed in the first place. Oh. Good luck, Dune. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's 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 looking fine to now. It's, <laughs> I might be able to circle some guys, so we'll see. As long as they don't encircle me back. Just use your power arm to the best you can. <laughs> some thick armor, um, boys. Oh, and I. Yeah, and cool. thick, thick boys. And I'll let you know when we're about half hour in. So. Ah yes. Yeah. We won't be going over 40 minutes as we usually do. Hey maybe. man, I usually yeah. do at this point. <laughs> Just, ah, uh -oh. founding. Right. What do our I fathers want? were paladins, our fathers were scribes. War support or stability? Uh, I want to, ooh, I'm going to go max out stability first just because stability is so good. Our interim. Let's see. Oh, we must have the exact same focuses right now. Yeah, we pretty much have the same focuses, oh. except oh, for yeah, the right yeah, yeah. side of the tree. Uh, uh, that's just the, the most unique park, so. We just become one big boy at some point then. That'd be cool, yeah, but. Uh, that would be awesome. But we can't quite do it yet. So basically, Taki has base kind of our tree, but actually flushed out. Because <laughs> he still has like the center path with like common ground, Mojave veterans, a little bit of expansion, the harbor, underground hangar, so. It's a big boy tree. I'm basically better. That's just it. No, I'm As a human being. Actually, am I even a human being? I, I, I know very little about the lore. Yeah, you're a uh, Maori Tourney, so you're still human. You're Well, as far as we know. Sorry. You might be a synth, but, you know, whatever. Oh. oh. Hey, <laughs> Probably not. Synths, synths are people, too. Oh, synths, I right. Mean, <laughs> I, I take it the Institute's going to get added eventually. Uh, In 10 years, probably. Grand. Yeah, we'll see there. how far we get with the East Coast. At the time of this recording, um, I'm still waiting for the East Coast mod to get updated so I can just play the crud out of it. Mm. The Minutemen, the Institute, the, Met, the Commonwealth oh, of Massachusetts. Good, good old Preston Garvey. <sighs> We're going to need to a, a lot of settlements. <laughs> uh, Taki, what's your manpower like right now? Uh, I've got 3k. Oh, three God, and a half. That'd be so yeah. nice. I oh, got a tenth of that. Well. I got a tenth. I got 300. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. Well, I can justify on you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can also justify on you. <sighs> so much love. What is this fucker doing? Get away. If you justify on me, I'll justify on you. Mutual love. Mutually assured destruction, even though you'd probably beat the snot out of me right now. Yeah, we'll see what I happens. Can't even... I can't wait to see what the end game is going to look like on the map. Oh, gosh. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just can't wait until I become actually one guy in, instead of a triplet. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I was wondering what you were on about there, but... <laughs> um, how many men have I lost so far? Oh, only one, I've only lost one guy. One dude. One dude has died. <laughs> Probably by accident. <laughs> he just tripped and Call fell him. and died. Yeah, tripped, tripped and fell. Uh, I... Don't think any of us have an Air Force. I know I don't, but does oh, yeah. Western oh, Force? Oh, technically an Air Force in this game. Technically, I, no. we are all. I think we should all be advanced. Maybe not the Washington Brotherhood, because they're a little odd. Primitive. Yeah, we're <laughs> a <little> bit <laughs> mental. Oh man, they're it's, challenged. It's so weird seeing these buttons without without uh, any color. Uh, oh. 
Oh, am I advanced? How do I tell if I'm advanced? Uh, you uh, go to the research tree, right? And you go to the little uranium or nuclear symbol, the reward technologies. It's on the far ah, right. I, get, I am advanced. Oh, you are advanced. Okay, cool. Yes, grand. Oh, yes, an encirclement. It's happened. <laughs> He's so happy. To, to the capital. Yakma. Man. Oh. Oh, the Hawaii's on the map. My game just, like, flipped over okay. all the way down there for some reason. So, Hawaii's called Sierra Leone and Gambia. Oh, I got some powers up there. Huh. Down Do they have a focus tree? That'd be pretty fun. Actually, they, they, they don't actually exist. Well, they don't, yeah, they don't exist yet. Hopefully, they look kind of oh. cool. Fallout Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Fallout Cuba. There's, Miami. There's like the Hawaiian version of Genghis Khan born there. That's <laughs> invading everyone. Oh god. <laughs> they'd be like, no, they could be like Vikings. That'd be kind of Hawaiian Vikings since they had to spread out over the seas. And they just no, like, like would raid the NCR in Baja Mexico or Baja California. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> Hawaiian One Vikings. Day. The pir or the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, they, they could do it with Cuba and like the uh, yeah. Hispaniola. Jamaican Vikings. Pirates of, the oh. Pirates of Jamaica. Go to right, Rome. I, I shall back in one second. I'm just going to pause. Just because just cause I don't That's want okay. my war to be. I found like a little bear best. in the Yakima Nation. There's a little bear. Where's the bear? Where's the bear? It's uh kind of we're central central part of uh the Washington Brotherhood as well as the Yakima Nation. Uh, uh Western Brotherhood? The Yakima Nation. Yeah. Yep, north. I yeah. North. There's so an like encirclement. my first bump. There there's an encirclement that dude made. Uh there's technically two encirclements that he made. Uh, one near the bottom where they're fighting and then one near the cent central part and then there's oh, a yeah. bear. Oh yeah. It's a little there's bear. Okay, harvest him for energy or something? I don't think this is Far Cry. I don't think you can do that, can you? That'd be cool, huh? Oh, I mean, I imagine they do that n normally to hunt, but... Because I know, like, in uh, EU4, uh, when you look at the sea tiles, sometimes you see whales pop. Oh, yeah, yeah. I always wonder, could you actually just fish them? Hmm. I don't think you cannot. But maybe maybe in the newest DLC. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I was going to say, is that a Canadian thing to do? To go whaling, or is this a Japanese thing? No, no. Uh, beating up Seals. Yeah, and that's okay. the, then I was thinking, yeah, clubbing. I'm going to club some seals. Yeah, okay. We're far enough into yeah. this video to say that stuff, right? Six minutes in. Um, <laughs> well, well, we're, I came back we're, <laughs> we're just clubbing now. things. Yeah. Baby Over here, seals. clubbing, going to club is uh, pretty fun. Over in Canada, it's uh, a bit less fun. <laughs> going clubbing. <laughs> Everyone bring your little uh, sticks. <laughs> Our future, nice. Cool. Uh, resource efficiency gain. I'm going to go factory up, but I got to get factory up, but. And now we're gonna go. Oh, what do I want to do for my focus? Hmm, land doctor sounds pretty good. Oh, chapter oh. leadership. I can attack people harder. I'm gonna grab some political power. I need that first. Well, you can attack Pearl Harbor. Wait, yeah. I'm, wait, I'm attacking Pearl Harbor. Wait, what? That, that's what I heard. Oh. I'm a, I can attack Pearl Harbor, and I was like, wait, what? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you even see them on the map? Oh, I mean, I think it's on the big island, so. So technically no, but I mean, the geography is kind of there. Huh. Go, Dune, go! You made two, three encirclements. Yeah, and I'm, I'm literally about to take the capital. I'm hoping it's gonna kill them. And the Are they close now, doesn't? Maybe. But, yeah, this is when I just collapse as well. Oh. The Olympus is about to die. Yeah, but I haven't even, even moved forward on them yet. <laughs> Yeah, they're like 76% uh, of the way towards capitulation for some reason. Hmm. Wow. So, probably once you take yeah, the capital, I guess. Oh, look at the they'll casualties. Just... They've only lost 7 and 1? Wow. Yeah, there's there's be, there's not been many deaths. Uh, how? Oh, the, look, you got the capital. Nice. Very nice. It's not enough, apparently, though. Uh, it's not enough. You need Wenachi. I, I might just advise, you know, just going from Yakima, just cut off, like, people in the south. Destroy them like that or something. Yeah, there's. I'm gonna have another instrument in a minute because one of my guys is moving and like, link up that division and just took a capital. Mm -hmm. One of the instruments about to die, it's got two divisions in it, so happy days. Yeah, I'm gonna 
I will give you a little bit of a warning though, Dune. Uh, if you want to expand north, sometimes you're gonna take a lot of. Like the, they're so spread out in the north, it's ridiculous sometimes. Oi. Oh, I can remember playing as a broken coast. Hmm, I've never played mm -hmm. as them yet. I was actually quite fun. I was just thinking when I was playing as the dredgers, or no, no, when you fight the dredgers, you gotta get Prince George, you gotta get maybe Dawson oh. Creek, Fort Nelson, and Old Remo. Oof. Yeah, that was, that's that's not fun. That's just it's a, oh. it's too, too much, much effort. Especially when you try to pair drop on all those places and you still don't have enough, and it's like, oh my god, seriously, man. Uh, oh, look. Dune is spreading very nicely. Come is on, we're almost there. I, I, I'd say he is winning. Oh, Super definitely nice. winning. I can't yeah, see Yeah, they've got 181 men now. Oh. An insane amount of casualties. I tell you, this is absolutely ridiculous. Ah. Uh. I think I'm getting used to it to this mod and seeing how little casualties there are constantly. Until you fight like the NCR, the Legion. Mm -hmm. oh. Or Mexico. Once Mexico gets more and more united, it can be oh. kind of a problem. Especially if they oh. use robots for like one of the Tlaloc sons. There's a guy named Tlalocan and then he dies in five years. We should probably disable him from the start actually, but whatever. It helps keep Mexico peaceful for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen. Well, the Legion, or even uh, mostly the Legion, or a United Mexico, or more United Mexico, has like 300,000 soldiers. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> it's not bad. It gives you something to look forward to in Endgame if you really want to look forward to that. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four. Four encirclements. Oh, technically, nah, that's not really five. Well, it's kind of five if it cut off. Go, Dune, go. Get Wenichi. Oh, you've been pushing there. Too. Almost there. You're pushing in uh, the, the little cut. tip. Uh, do we call that a peninsula? I guess. Well, wouldn't it should be, be enough. It, well, let's see. I, I don't mean, know. It should be. It's, it's ten points compared to the, like the five of the other two victory points. Let's see, capitulate when it's less than twenty percent. It's sixty-three percent of the way towards capitulation, eh? Eh. Oh come on! Get him, Doom! Get him! Die! If you need to speed <laughs> it up, I mean, just let us know. Yeah, let's. Yeah. What was that? Let's pump up the speed three. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. Get trucking. Get trucking. Meanwhile, we're over here just oh. chilling. Valid. Uh, I, I I tabbed over like before we started recording. Uh, Dune should have a guy named Paladin Todd under Paladin. his cultural advisor. I'm probably gonna go for that one first. It's 100 political power. Um, gives you 10% more political power, which is I'm gonna need, and then oh gosh, well, lowers cost of other things. Oh, you got that, and then you got Kennewick. Mm. So that might be useful later on, or immediately. That's what I'm going to go for yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, oh, that that power armor unit's just walking right in behind them all. <laughs> oh. Oh, their whole army is going to get encircled in a minute. Yes. Uh oh. Just don't kill the bear. The bears love. The bear love must survive. Bear. Just need one more VP. That's it. Get Bedal, I guess, or uh, where else we got? Or the capital? Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to the capital. I'm going to the vision down there. Oh, oops. Venice. Ven I mean, that should be it, right? Oh, not, still not. 91%. Jesus Christ. Oh, definitely when the, that uh, Kennewick falls. Come uh, on, complete the encirclement. Do it. I mean, what is an encircle at this yeah, point? Just, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I think I am. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I'm gonna take Mount Olympus as well right now. Oh, hell yeah. Now just wrap in this up. And then we'll go to five speed and just go zoom, zoom, zoom until we have our. Uh, oh. Thing done. oh, they had Kod Kodiak base, huh? Oh, oh that's, that's where we're almost. Oh, Kitsap right. Peninsula. Nice, very no. nice. First it one done. Boy. And now you oh, wait. Oh, I've generated the most world tension. Oh. <laughs> How? How? What? what did you even do? Oh, I might be just playing on someone. It's gonna take a while. You're Man, just hurling it if I don't expand early game, I might as well just quit now. I'm gonna need their manpower, manned. Yeah, that's very true. Oh. Them ranges. Come on. Come oh, on. Legion, are you okay? There we yeah. go. Nice. We're done here. I can enjoy my chips in peace now. 
Cool, and now you better core them because oh, I didn't tell you guys about resistance. Oh god. Cool. Uh, is it different from? It's uh... different. So if you go to your flag and then you go to your occupied territories, mm -hmm. the fastest way to do it is to when you go to occupied territories, oh. you go to the very top and you select wasteland pacification. I think what's what it calls. It's the second lowest one. Oh. It gives you more daily compliance. But for Dune's case, in your tree, your focus tree, you do get cores on those nations if you go within the blizzard as fast as possible. All right. So just, I go straight for that so you don't lose any more manpower equipment. Uh, also use militia. Use militia for garrisons. It might already be set up for you to do that. The motion really claims and I don't want to go in the cause. Where's the cause? Just south of you. <clears throat> Two to eight divisions, so I should be able to take them. I'll go double the army. Well, I've got at least a little bit of power armor. You, you'll be fine. Should be. We'll do a naval invasion because I do not fancy crossing, <laughs> crossing the little crossings. Look at that. Well, we oh, oh, they oh, can't oh, pierce I... you. I mean, it'll be okay. But hey, as long as you got a navy, it's better than me. Ah uh, well, I've got ships. Mm -hmm. Oh, not got any yet. Is there a point to uh, a navy in this game? Oh, uh, not not nearly as much. I mean, the only, the only reason I'd make a navy is to invade New Victoria if you don't have like transports, or you know, it's pretty much. Oh, well. I mean, you can you can pretty much ignore it. I mean, people will navally invade you. They will if they can, but uh, I mean, you I can ignore got, it if I you really them. want. Yeah. So I'm gonna make the biggest oh, fleet out of all of us. Okay. They look absolutely ridiculous, though. I'm gonna it's make... like a robo. Robo? Yeah. Well, I, well, since I have a navy, I can actually look at the design. There's just yeah. ro robots and bigger robots. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Drop, mock up. What's the best land doctrine to go down? Oh, uh, depends what you are. So, ah, oh, Washington Brotherhood, they have a lot of infantry compared to power armor. If you want to use robots, you want you go automated warfare. Conventional mm. warfare is for, like, just regular infantry. Asymmetric warfare is also for, like, regular infantry as well. But that's more like for, like, you could do, like, the Legion. It depends. Like, conventional warfare is, like, the tried and true pre-war pre stuff. Asymmetric right. golfers more like wasteland stuff, and then refined is just power armor. Our goal we're gonna grab next chapter leadership. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm so, conventional warfare. Because if you go down the right side of conventional warfare, you'll get five percent more manpower, which is very helpful. Mm -hmm. I should definitely do that. I should probably do that, but I'm not going to. I don't need manpower. Black Paladin. That sounds racist. <laughs> hey man, they're just colors. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, you guys got a good, good amount of manpower factories, huh? Oh. Good, good. Oh damn, non core manpower at minus 50%. Bloody hell. Well, uh, minus 50% non core manpower, which does hurt you, but it's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, with your focus tree, you do get 2% more later on with Enslave the Weak, so. Enslave the Weak. Okay. Just casual enslavement. Oh, let's see, we're 16 minutes in or so. YouTube doesn't care anymore. <laughs> uh, we're past the, the monetization uh, time. So, with your military Even policies. So. So. Here's another thing about like resistance. You can raise it up to 4 unless we get to the next focus if you want. It's fine with me. Uh, so you go to military policies, you can go to outside of recruitment, I think. Mine's a little bit different than everyone else's, I think. But, uh, it might, it might not be. You should be able to see one that gives you, like, more daily compliance. That's what you want when you go to war and, you, you know, take over new people. Oh, outside auxiliaries. Yeah, because you want as much compliance gain as possible. Mm. That's in the military uh, stuff, right? Uh, sh yeah, military policies. It should be, yeah. Yeah, the second you way. might not have oh, it no, though. No, outside, oh, the, the no, no outsider stuff, right? Yours is a little bit more special since you actually have a well, focus tree, special, unique stuff. Oh, oh all right. So, that's general. When you play old world blues, you want that. Uh, I don't get that, but I do get two percent more population. So you want to max out compliance as fast as possible, or just going to kill your country. Hmm. Actually, uh, Mocha, do you have, know what a pro, uh, what a proper template is for this? Oh yeah. Mana. It depends what you want. What are you supposed to do? Okay, where do you go? Well, I right now I'm just producing common energy weapons and uh, scavenger armor. 
And I've got pioneer kits that I can make apparently. Pioneer kits are for spec ops. Don't worry about them. Don't make them. Those are for special forces. Nice. And you want to use power armor oh, as best right. as possible. <laughs> Been there. All right, I'll just make common energy weapons then, I guess. Oh, uh, that's the, the that's your infantry need. equipment. So, yeah, that's yeah. totally cool. You're never wrong with that one, I guess. Uh, that's usually for that's good for more hard attack than soft attack because you know I'm your advanced nature. That's pretty much normal that you go down that path. So, mm -hmm. let's hmm. see. I only get 1.7 political power a day. It's not enough. I could, oh minus gosh, 4 percent resistance well. target. Hmm. You have more political power. I get more da daily compliance. Hmm. I can't believe how much this has changed since the last play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. When's the last time you actually got, you actually played this, Dune? I have no idea. And I, I want to say it was my was it my real grand day play. So oh, was it or Caesar's Legion? I don't know. It's a while ago September, now. I can't even remember. Maybe last September 2019. Maybe I think that's when the update came out. Possibly. Yeah, I, I didn't play the most recent update. I don't think. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> with Mexico. I played with Mexico. I think that was the last time. Yeah, you played as a uh, the Enclave Reborn once or twice or something. Oh well, I I done Nevada the Nevada way and then making the United States and then I did start a purist one, but then I gave up because I couldn't be bothered at that point. I I just did. I technically at the time of this recording, I'm doing my purist. Purist is honestly pretty easy. Oh my goodness, it's it's a lot of fun, especially when you start cloning things. Oh, so much fun. Cloning. Oh yeah, that's how you get more manpower. Oh. Oh, you can just make manpower. Yeah, you just well, I mean, you, you can literally make men. manpower, but not that quickly, I guess. And it was surprisingly not that difficult. Kind of, you know what you're doing. Like when I did the Nevada path, like for the Enclave Reborn, I screwed up. So I basically restarted the campaign, like on my fourth video. It took like 12 minutes. So. Oh gosh. <laughs> it was totally fine, though. I mean, there's things you should do. There's things you really can't do. So. Mm. But if you have no idea what you're doing, like what, like me then when you first start, it's like, oh my goodness, what do you do? Yeah. Uh, let's see, we're gonna lower this, finding the army, and decorated war, ooh, oh, my. I like time for front. Hmm. I love how they've changed the, like, the tree, tree for your, um, your generals, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a little different than, you know, regular, everything else. You get your special stats and your traits and, yeah. I love how... Elder Immortal is my commanding officer, and he's just got nerd rage. I couldn't imagine him with nerd rage. <laughs> he's just really passionate about Marvel movies, okay? <laughs> he thinks he's Iron Man or something. <laughs> he, he has, like, an Iron Man bed in his room. <laughs> On his chest, he has that little uh, this, the symbol thing, the little uh, heart thing. Yeah, but he just drew it on. With, with, with a, <laughs> a piece of paper just taped on. Let's see. Oh, we did funny the army. I'm going to... Hmm. What should we go for next? Supply consumption. 5% attack. I need more than 5% attack. 5% defense. Oh, temp... Oh, I like it when the attack... What happens if you unban chems? Uh, I don't really know. I've never really done that. I mean, people... You, you can oh, ask China that's the thing. after the opium war. Uh, oh. Nope. Oh. Uh, they probably wouldn't. But, okay, so in this game, you go to your decisions. There should be, you see events and decisions in that little tab. Oh, hold on, I got I did another division. Right. So you go to decisions, and it says events and decisions. You go to, to the, you look over to, a little bit to the right side that's popping out. It says, like, Gunrunner Black Market. Yeah. You click on that, and then you can buy guns if you need them with your caps. Oh. Actually, I, I can probably buy guns right? now. Let me, before anyone in the comments tells me, I'm going to buy guns now, because I actually have a deficit. So you got caps, and caps limit how many divisions you can hold at one time. We could have oh, turned off damn. caps early on, but whatever. You work with it. I'll work with hmm. it. So if you ban, oh. if you unban chems, you can buy drugs for your soldiers, which gives you more like attack or defenses and stuff like that. But it hurts like other various little stats that they have too. So. Oh, of course, because you know. You go through withdrawal, you know, just normal <laughs> drug things. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Well, the they can be very good, but I guess. There. Whatever. <laughs> uh, we're gonna grab that early on. I'm doing my land doctrine. Oh, I'm gonna get 
So militia are good for, you know, resistance. They're like your garrisons. Militia are good, but there's a technology called crowd control gear, which gives you a new division template called enforcers, which is better for putting down resistance. Mm -hmm. But you're not really supposed to build them, right? It's just to, you know, add them towards your... Well, you build the equipment, of course, but... Um, three, please, because I'm going to go with the war again. Oh, you're so violent, dude. So violent. I know. It must be the Scott in you. <laughs> Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> so disgusting. This warmongering personality of yours. This is why we kicked him to the north, you know. <laughs> it's containment. Violent people from Washington. Oh, gosh. They're not going to stand the chance. Hopefully not. Give me just one more. Just keep going. I'll be right back in just one second. Why are you going to war with, actually? Come on. Uh, I'm at war with the cause. The yellow one below me. Oh, we are going to, I think, have the cat's presence. Sorry about that. Yep, Binky wanted to uh, have a good time. Um, yeah. He demands the presence. He demands to come in my room. Uh, he's just meowing outside my door. So. Trouble at the home front. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, look, you got Umbra. Oh, hell yeah. I expanded. So you can <laughs> you seize a royal, realize. or you can <laughs> invite a royal to join your faction. The she were punished for what does that even mean? You go to war with the she, probably. Oh, I hope so. So I this must... is, it's literally like uh, basically Chinatown. Um, there are people from the People's Liberation Army that made it for, through a submarine to play it, and they <laughs> landed basically in Chinatown, and kind of been staying there ever since. Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, trouble on the home front. Uh, it's really up to you what you want to do. They will, I think, eventually ask for like, was it Antioch or Con Concord? So, oh, so in that case, I'll just um, take them kill out. them. Yeah, strategically place my troops on their border, or you could just go to war with the royal off. first. It's up to you. So, I mean, I have to fabricate a claim on them, right? Yeah, you will. You get claims on them, but then you have to justify. So, yeah, I like I tried to piss them off, but they they backed off apparently, <laughs> from what I can understand. Um, just small deck energy, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> take out the she, take out the she. The 55,000 people, they have a lot of resources over there, so which is really good. And Dune can get the old country sometimes with him in his alliance, as well as 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 well as Port Maul, so. Oh. And that was easy. Nice. Now, you're kind of thick. A little thicker. Oh. Thank you, Morgan. He do be looking kind of thick. I uh, I always look thick. <laughs> this isn't an accident. I trained for this shit. I trained. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say anything else about this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. Right, we can we can jump back up in speed if you want. He wants to go six speed? Okay. As fast as, as we can. Is it even possible to play on... No, it is That'd be possible. kind of cool, though, but no. <laughs> Finley next, just because we can get more. Oh wait, I can get undesirables. Oh, I can get more population. Uh, yeah. Undesirables, he says. Well, I mean. Sounds so ominous. Well, that's part of the military policy. You can have petty criminal conscripts, homicidal conscripts, raider conscripts, or uh, slave conscripts. Oh jeez. And I can have you have mutant recruitment too. So right now I don't allow any mutants. I can go with ghoul recruitment, super mutant, or just recruit all mutants. Let's see. Like, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go with the guy and go with Finley, oh. so I can Paladin Finley's gonna get some more stability and more support. All right, that the followers of Apocalypse. I just say just invite them in. It's it's too much of a hassle to deal with them trying to kick them out early. Just accept them. You get some debuffs and some buffs. It's it won't hurt you that much. Just welcome. Them. Just well, just to be honest, the Apocalypse to uh, reside in your uh, country. It's fine. We are a bunch of maniacs up here, so it's perfectly fine. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense why they come to the Washington Brotherhood or you know other areas. They're pacifists, so I mean. <laughs> oh right. Okay, so you will get right. some debuffs, like uh, they'll demand demilitarization or demobilization. Oh, it hurts you a little bit, but overall, it won't hurt you that badly. And they you might take a factory or two. Probably, right? Just you know, just. Uh, followers of the apocalypse things, that's all. Oh, weird bunch of people. 
Come on, Portmaw, it's time for you to join me, otherwise you're dying. Also, the follower apocalypse, as when you first get them, they have their followers spreading, which lowers your weekly war support, which su really sucks. But uh, there's yeah. not much you can really do. You can always get more war support later. Or just don't lose uh, PPs. Uh, research, research bonus, though, plus five. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's good, but we are kind of already advanced, so I guess it won't really matter. Yeah, it's not really. Oh, time to get a spy. Bank. Oh yeah, that's also a thing. Oh yeah, well, well, look at you guys having enough factories to get spies. Oh, I guess I do too, but that that's basically well, takes up all my civilian factories. Um, to be honest, I, mean, I don't really use the spies. I just use the cryptology. I barely, I don't even use that. I'm just like, mm, whatever. Most of the time, I just forget to make the organization in the first place. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because there's no, there's no problem being like, oh, you don't really research anything in the in your agency. Just a bit of a bummer. I mean, you can you can use spies, you know, put down resistance, which kind of helps, but yeah, but you can't really tell them to just be all over the place. It's just like a small area that they yeah. go. Yeah, fine in in this map maybe, but when you play the base game, it's really base annoying. game. What's base game? All I play is old world blues. Yeah, <laughs> I, we only play mods. <laughs> I have never heard of the Soviet Union. What's that? What? Yeah, is that in a mod? I, it's one of those fantasy things that some weird people <laughs> have written up. Thing. It's a fantasy country. Uh, what is my next step? Actually, how long is it going to take for me to go to war? Uh, <laughs> yes, case. become my puppet, you little... Oh. He's... Uh-oh. Bitch. That nine divisions, can I take them? Yeah, give me them. You don't, you don't, you don't need an arm, mate. I'll take them. You don't need an arm. <laughs> <laughs> give your arm to me. Give me your arm. Lassie. Oh, Let's see. Targeting good. Nice. Uh, Henry Gibbs. Gibbs me the good stuff. Uh, you're using... Uh... Well, time to commit a few war crimes. Oh, I want to commit some war crimes as well, man. Give it time. You'll be able to soon enough. <laughs> One day. I'm done with autonomy. That sounds good. Is this mirror there no music actually? You have to Did turn it off. The, the, this bug. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't work, right? It's it's all uh, copyright stuff, probably. Uh, oh, wait, which ones? Like the music that's playing? Uh, I I rarely get music playing these days. For some reason, it just bugs out and it just stops. Huh. Um, I have the I have old world started. blues. Like it's all like some of the Fallout tunes that aren't copyright claimed. So. Oh, I'll just play that oh, again. Yeah. That sounds fun. As, as, so, uh, so far, I mean, I've done it for a little while, and I haven't been copyright claimed yet, so... Yet. I'm, yeah, I'm getting a lot of random old videos getting copyright claimed lately. Huh. I'm like, Same. what is the point? They don't even have ads on them. Yeah. These are very old videos. Uh, I'm, I, I'm getting the same, but I'm, I'm spiteful enough to where I, if I know that they don't have the right to it, I'll just dispute it. And then All after, right. like... On the last day, what they, where they can be like, yeah, you know, we accept your dispute or not, they, they uh, always release it. So I'm like, yeah, fuck you. You will not get my three cents that I made off of this video. <laughs> you ain't taking my pennies. Cool. So we're pretty much at where we need to be for this episode, I suppose. So we've all taken some territory in this, so I guess we'll end the episode here, maybe? Yeah. yeah we've done all well, and I just finished my war with the Mojave Raiders. So guys, everyone who's watching, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did... Consider checking out Dune Ever Gaming's channel as well as Taki Senpai. Leave likes on their videos and maybe mine. Subscribe to everyone here if you feel, so feel inclined. Uh, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.